Hey guys, my name is Coach Shardogs the Born, but built for Theme Park Factor Entertainment, and welcome to this Theme Park Newsroom update where today we've got some massive developments on the Movie Park Germany 2021 development. Uh, this is going to be a brand new attraction, a brand new family attraction that's set to open for 2021. It's a big new attraction as well. It's not just family, it's a big new attraction uh, going on the former Ice Age Adventure site. Now, a recent social media video has stormed the internet with the reveal of the manufacturer of the attraction. So we're going to be talking about all of that. We're going to be talking about exactly what's been spotted in this video, as well as sharing with you a screenshot from the, the main part of that video that you guys need to see. And, uh, and afterwards, I'm going to share my predictions. I'm going to share three predictions as to what I think this could personally be. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, cut the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. Massive shout outs go to Falco Flare and Yoshi's Minecraft Adventure. Bit high. And for now guys, let's get into talking about Movie Park Germany 2021. So the information is from Loopings, a European theme park news source. A massive shout out to Loopings. An actress dressed as Marilyn Monroe reveals a large box with a logo on it. That logo, as you can already see on your screen, is Intamin. The attraction is being built on the old location of the Dingy Dart Ride Ice Age Adventure in a large hall. And last fall, Halloween Haunted House Wrong Turn was to be found there. All sets have now been stripped, so a bit of a construction update there. The project was announced in March, however, due to the coronavirus crisis, it remained unclear for a long time whether it was opening could continue in 2021. Now, Movie Park Germany confirms the project is still on track. The attraction type will remain a secret for the time being, and the park previously spoke of an attraction for the whole family. Intamin is known for building roller coasters, waterfalls, and freefall towers, but the company also builds dark rides and simulators. So that is the latest information from Lou Ping's massive shout out to them, and uh, that's sharing the um, the screenshot on your screen. And of course, the screenshot reads Intamin. Now, Intamin are a massive manufacturer in the world. Intamin are doing some big stuff, you know, right to this day in terms of roller coasters. They're doing some you know, crazy stuff. Um, Intamin are a massive, you know, manufacturer of, of roller coasters. And uh, like the article says, it's not just coasters that make Intamin an incredible manufacturer. They do incredible dart rides, free fall towers, normal drop towers. You know, the, 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 the list of attractions in this, in this manufacturer's, you know, portfolio goes on and on and on. But they've got a lot of projects coming up, even that's projects that's still under construction now um but in terms of ones that are operating in 2020 they did shred the sewers uh which is an indoor coaster at dream island in moscow russia as well as objective mars at futuroscope which is their intimate indoor and outdoor spinning coaster in 2021 they got four projects currently online pantheon which is of course their uh, Intamin Blitz Coaster, their Intamin Multi Launch at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. They've also got the brand new uh, Multi Launch Coaster, Blitz Coaster at Allens of Adventure, themed to Jurassic World. They've also got their brand new Mega Coaster, which we've reported on many, many times at Wallaby, Belgium, uh, coming next year as well. And also Namazu, which is a volcano themed Intamin Launch Coaster at Volcania in France. And of course, don't forget. Uh, in 2023, they're scheduled to open the brand new multi-launch at Park Asterix in France. So, you know, this park's got, well, this manufacturer's got a lot going on. So looking then at three predictions that I've made as to what could be the Movie Park Germany 2021 ride. Now, I've signalled it down to three. There could be other possibilities. This could be a custom ride type that no other park has done in the world. This could be a brand new ride type from Intamin that have not been announced. Um, I think it's very unlikely though. I think it would be nice, but uh, I think we're looking at a current ride type in the portfolio. And uh, I've signalled it down to three. And it's three that I've looked at personally on the Intamin website. I've seen videos of these attractions elsewhere in the parks. And uh, I think all three could be brilliant fits for the building. So I'm going to put the building itself uh, in Google Earth form on your screen right now. 
fan at Dabby Dozy. And um, yeah, we're going to take a look at the three predictions that I've made for this movie park journey attraction. So starting off with prediction number one. And I predicted, as by the website, a family spinning coaster. So what am I thinking with that? Objective Mars at Futuroscope. Now, of course, Objective Mars... Um, at Futuroscope in France is a family spinning coaster manufactured by Intamin and uh, this basically has a length of 1640.4 feet, a speed of 34.2 miles per hour, a duration of 2 minute 50 with a dark show section, a tight propelled launch with a, ro a rolling launch, a tight propelled boost and a vertical drop track. So it's French for Destination Mars. It's indoor and outdoor sections, 22 million euros for the coaster and for the building for the indoor sections. So, you know, it is, it is a costly project. However, you know, I think it's very, very clear from the description of this attraction that this could pretty much be the most expensive project in Movie Park Germany's history. So maybe, maybe not as costly as Objective Mars, but maybe they could break the bank and go for like a 20 million euro project. Um, it could be shorter than Objective Mars, but, you know, who cares? It's still something like Objective Mars, and I think that, you know, that would be a, a nice, you know, a nice ride type to go for. And, you know, looking at the the, the themes they could go for, I mean, the, the video saw Marilyn Monroe, you know, taking out this Intamin box and plucking it with a construction hat on top and then her leaving as she was sat on it. And, um, hope we didn't crush any ride parts. And, um, yeah, I think that, you know, I think that this could be a, you know, a potential Hollywood theme. Um, well, it's definitely going to be a Hollywood theme, but I'm thinking maybe like a Hollywood stunt theme. So it's like taking you behind the scenes as to how you do these Hollywood stunts. Um, in movies, in the old classic movies, and it's like stunts throughout the ages. Um, so they could go on that theme, and that could help with the indoor sections of a, you know, a family spinning coaster like Objective Mars with the indoor sections and the dark show sections. So, you know, this could potentially be two and two together, and you could get this project. Uh, so that's really nice there. The second prediction that I've got down here is a multi-dimensional coaster. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, of course, on other sites, you call it the Family Drop Coaster, which is basically 13 Alton Towers, uh, or you could use elements like the launch, for example, of Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure at Islands of Adventure in Florida. We're going to use 13, though, as the, the, the prototype, the example. Uh, but you can use maybe uh, the dark ride sections of Hagrid, maybe. Uh, so 13 uh, has a length of 2,480.3 feet and height of 65.6 feet, a speed of 41.6 miles per hour with two booster wheel lift hills and a vertical drop track with a 16.4 foot drop. Uh, now this has a capacity of 1,100 riders per hour installed by RCS GmbH. And uh, this is located at the one and only Alton Towers, open back on the 20th of March, 2010. So, you know, 10 years old, pretty good. And, um, yeah, this coaster is a personal favourite of mine for many different reasons. And it's because uh, the drop track is definitely a surprise for those of you who haven't done it before. It was described when it opened as a side coaster. And again, you know, you can use some slow sections like Hagrid users with the... Um, with the stunts throughout the ages and the Hollywood theme, uh, you know, do some nice slow sections around some scenery, and then maybe do a drop chat when you're taking part in a stunt yourself. Um, I'm going to speak about, more about the theme in a little bit. because there's something I want the parts to take inspiration for if they're going to go for like a Hollywood theme or a stunts throughout the ages theme. So stay tuned to the end of the video because I've got some theories about that one. And um, yeah, in terms of using that theme as an example, I think that the 13 ride type could be pretty good. And again, you could integrate some of those dark ride sections, uh, you know, level of detail in the dark ride sections, and maybe a launch or so, or uh, a spike if you wanted to, if it was big enough. Um, the Hagrid does at Islands of Adventure, as well as using the new, the the more the more modern next gen Intamin track as well. So uh, you know, that's the route I would go down personally. Uh, if you're going to go with that ride type. The third ride type, which is not a coaster, this one, is a dark ride system. So we've got two examples of this ride already, and they're both in Asia. So this would be the first one outside of Asia and Europe's first version of this. So, of course, have a look on YouTube after this video at Sultan's Adventure at Leofu... Uh, 
the Ofu Village theme park, that's how it's pronounced, and also you can have a look at Pharaoh's Fury at Lotte World in South Korea. So those are the two examples I would use for this one. So this is a dark ride system where uh, it goes through many different theming items, no real surprise elements, or you could include them in if you wanted to, uh, make it different from the rest. And um, yeah, basically it's just a normal dark ride system, round some scenery items, maybe give some uh, different effects, maybe, maybe put in a water effect if you wanted to. And uh, yeah, it's just a traditional tracked dart ride, uh, in my opinion. So they could go along that route, potentially, uh, but we'll have to, you know, see with that one uh, whether it is the right route to go down. So let's talk about the three predictions and what this could be now. I spoke about, I was talking about the theme in more detail. There's, an, there's a default attraction at Universal Studios in Florida that I want to use the inspiration, well, I think it's Florida? Yeah, I think so. Uh, and um, yeah, um, I wanted to use that as inspiration for the th like what theme I want them to go down with this attraction, especially if it's one of those drop track coasters, one of the two, uh, the spinning one or the normal one. And it's, a, it's an attraction called Disaster, a motion motion picture starring you. I think they should do a theme where they bring you into the action. I think the whole ride experience should be about bringing you into the stunts itself. Take the the stunts, uh, uh, like take the stunts throughout the ages theme. Um, I think what could the, what they could do is have a pre-show element where you know you have you, you, you get a couple of people from the audience to do some things and then um, you know do some stunts uh, or, or apparently do some stunts and um, use the computer trickery to, to work it out and you know get them to be part of the filming experience while the rest of them you know watch this little pre-show with some uh, you know get them to sit somewhere on benches but you get one of those themed benches where it all you know tilt a little bit at the end and you know you, you remember the the old Dick Turpin show at York Dungeon where he got these bed well, uh, no it was the hi it was the hangman it was the Dick Turpin the highwayman hanging scene um where the, you sat on normal benches and it sort of tilted or one of the scenes I can't remember which one in Cadbury World in Birmingham they have you sit on these benches during like a pre-show moment of how chocolate's made and you got these benches that wibble wobble a little bit they um, you know, you got things underneath you. The Plague Doctor at York Dungeon as well. They've got these like leeches. They have it underneath the benches, and oh, it feels horrible. Uh, it feels horrible talking about it. Uh, um, and you know, it's it's one of those interactive bench pre-shows where it interacts you with what you're listening to. Uh, so it's informative as well as entertaining. Uh, and then the people doing the filming or whatever stunt they're doing. And you guys get taken into the main ride experience, and it's that whole major, major motion picture starring you kind of thing, um, where you go round, you go around the sets, you, you're part of the scene, and uh, this is where the dark ride system, the Sultan's Adventure or the Pharaoh's Fury dark ride system comes in uh, best, but they could implement it into the Family Drop Coaster or the Family Spinning Coaster. I should say the multi-dimensional coaster and the family spinning coaster. Um, and, you know, it's all about, you know, being the crowd in this massive disaster scene. You can have these loads of brilliant scenery coming down. And, you know, it, it's got that major, it's got that disaster and major, mo major, major motion picture starring you kind of feel to it. Boy, that's hard to say. And, um... You know, it's definitely got that feel about it that I think they could implement. And then, of course, you have the final product in, like, a little post-show, I guess. I mean, they have, like, ending shows, you know, in separate rooms or using Disaster as an example. They have it actually on the vehicle as you're pulling into the station. Uh, I remember watching video footage of the last day of that attraction and, you know, all the staff were there and they were all lined up afterwards when the lights came back on and... Oh, it was magical. Um, but I think they could go along with the stunts throughout the ages kind of thing. So that's just something to, you know, bury your brain about. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Like I said, very informative, quite entertaining a couple of times. Uh, but, you know, that's what we are, factual entertainment. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We'll be back with more 
updates very, very soon. But for now, I am the Coast Shell. Keep living the Coast life, and I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.